I am Matt Utendale from Microsoft Research, and today we're going to be showing two projects out of the labs, one called HD View, um, which I will present, and then we're saving the best to last. Drew will show Photosynth. What we like to say about these images are they were big, wide, and deep images, and I'll sort of dive down into each one of these a little bit, what that means. So by big, I mean they're they're massive. This is 3.6 gigapixels of Seattle. And sometimes like a bug in the capture process is actually sort of educational. What happened here is the camera ran out of battery, that black stripe right there. And, um, and I was quickly fumbling with the thing while it was moving, because the pixel orb was oblivious to that. It just kept moving, right? And I'm like trying to get a new battery in there as fast as possible. So I lost four shots. Um, but that's the size of one image, right? That's the size of one eight megapixel image. And another way to look at that is to zoom in on the guy operating the crane up there. Right, that's, they're, they're big. Right, so by, by wide, um, what I mean is that these images you know, are immersive. They're, you know, they're anywhere from a full spherical image if you, if you capture a full sphere. This one happens to be 150 degrees, so they're, they're, they're wide angle images, right? And by deep, I sort of touched on this earlier, they have a, ve they have a high dynamic range, right? The, uh, the sky and the urban canyons have 100, 100x variations in the, um, in the radiance or in the intensity of light. Right? So big, wide, deep images. What do we do with this? We, we created these big, wide, deep images, and we wanted to show off. We wanted to share them. We wanted to like, post them on the web. But there's no, there's no real good viewer to allow the exploration of these images. So that's, that was sort of the inspiration behind HD view. This is why we decided to, to build a viewer to, to be able to explore these massive data sets. Matt and I were both in the uh, interactive media, uh, visual media group in, in Microsoft Research. And uh, Rick Salisky is in there as well. And so he was working on this project with um, University of Washington. It's a collaboration between uh, UW and MSR. Uh, called phototourism. This was shown at SIGGRAPH. And basically, the idea is that um, <clears throat> if you go to Flickr and you do a search for Trevi Fountain, uh, it'll just return page after page of thumbnails of these images. And this is not a great way to, to navigate them. You just see all of the images. You know, the beautiful thing is that you actually see the original photos, <clears throat> but uh, you can't tell which images are, are related to each other at all. So with phototourism, they wanted to navigate it in a spatial manner. Uh, so by looking at the images, they were able to infer the position of all the cameras automatically and this point cloud. And this enables you to do a spatial navigation of the images. So you can go left, right, up, down, in, out. So the basic pipeline is that just like with the HD view is you extract features. Let me go back to that. I missed it a little bit. Uh, so here. Uh, this is 350 photos from Flickr. The first step is to extract features between them automatically. And then the algorithm goes and finds matches between images at those features, very similar to the, um, to the stitching uh, procedure. And then instead of figuring out where the camera position is, the rotation only, it figures out the translation also. So these cameras are moving around uh, in space. And so now, by clicking on a camera, you can jump to that camera. Uh, and on the left here, you see the navigation. So here, you can go, you can go left or you can go uh, out. These are pullouts. And this is automatically inferred from the features that were matched and, uh, and uh, extracted and matched between images. So here's an example of jumping to another image, which is a zoom in. And that's a much better navigation scheme than, than some sort of a, a, just a big photo album where you have to go find this photo. So here, this is also showing images from the same location uh, that were just shot at, at slightly different times or by different people. So this is the, there's a zoom out button where you can pull back to an image that uh, gives you more of an overview of the scene. And then also you can show details. So as he's mousing over these thumbnails, you can see the details show up in the original image. And then you can actually jump to it and navigate to it. And it'll move the camera position to where that photo was taken from. Here's another data set, which uh, was shot of Prague. Um, 
And with this data set, it was captured in a little more methodical manner. Uh, he, he also registered it to a map. So now, now this, is, this is investigating a slightly different navigation scheme. So you see the, the little map up in the upper right-hand corner. Um, and then you can go into the map and click on a photo and actually jump to that photo so that you can see the, the, uh, the scene from that, that spot. And then you can also select some area that you would like to zoom in on.